father's mission. His son was killed by police. Tonight, his own plan to fix what he calls law enforcement policing themselves. WISN 12 News' Jason Newton is here. Jason, Michael Bell has a five-point plan for reviewing in-custody deaths. He does, and it's detailed in a letter to the Wisconsin Professional Police Association. Michael Bell's son was killed by police in 2004. It was deemed justified, but Bell says the investigation was tainted and his steps would change that. There was some. The images are still crystal clear for Michael Bell. My son was shot, and within 48 hours, they did a complete review before all the data was even in, and they cleared themselves of any wrongdoing. That's his take following his son's death in 2004. Kenosha police officers saying his 21-year-old son struggled, reached for an officer's gun, and then was shot during a traffic stop, an event deemed justifiable following their own internal investigation. Since then, Bell's objection has been spelled out in black and white. He argues when police are involved in a fatal shooting or in-custody death, the review and investigation process should be independent. Nobody involved with the department could be on that review board. The chief of police in one department that had a shooting could not sit on that review board and review himself. It has to be an external professional view. And that's just the start. His change to the review process includes, among other things, blood tests for drugs and alcohol for the officers involved, an outside law official to monitor the collection of evidence and the creation of a five-member review panel. Bell presented that list to the Wisconsin Professional Police Association. Their executive director tells 12 News Bell's intentions are good, but he's bashing police with his billboards. Meantime, Bell has caught the attention of State Senator Lena Taylor. That we want to make sure that these kind of deaths, like the death of Derek Williams or the kind of um, things that take away from the public's trust um, in the people who take an oath to serve and protect, you know, we want to make sure that we address those issues. Now, Senator Taylor says that cultural training for all officers in a diverse community would be beneficial as well. Taylor also says that she's eager to work on a bipartisan bill that would focus on police reviews and mental health issues regarding law enforcement. Kathy. Jason, the man accused.